by certain students of Daniel and Revelation, the USA has been considered that lamb-like beast, the second beast as stated in Revelation 13, which comes up from the vacancy of the earth, lamb-like demeanour but speaks as a dragon and predicted to one day become a superpower that is a religious persecuting superpower. This has been predicted for over a hundred years. It says in Revelation 16 verse 13, And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Why do you think it's the same policy for both parties? Why do you think there are no different from each other? Be because America, for, for two centuries, has had one basic overriding goal, and that is world domination. A historic deal is close, but NATO is saying there will be no change in the missile shield plans. Why not? Because NATO shares America's desire to dominate the world. NATO is just a, an arm of U.S. foreign policy. There's, there's no point, actually, in making a distinction between U.S. foreign policy and NATO policy. They are the same. If, if NATO, if, if the U.S. was not in NATO, NATO would not exist. But the basic criterion is uh, the, uh, the empire's expansion and whether you support the empire or not. And that, that excludes all the countries I've named, from Cuba to Russia. Let me summarize something for the benefit of our listeners. Since 1946, the United States has attempted to overthrow more than 50 foreign governments. In that same time period, it has attempted to assassinate more than 50 foreign leaders. It has attempted to, it has, it has bombed the people of 30 countries. It has suppressed revolutionary parties in at least 20 nations. And there's more to that. I forget the, my other factor on my list. This is a, a record unparalleled in all of human history. The man who was talking, William Plum, in early 2006, Plum briefly became the subject of widespread media attention when Osama bin Laden issued a public statement in which he quoted Plum and recommended that all Americans read Rogue State, a guide to the world's only superpower. Now, Plum is an American author, historian, critic of the U.S. foreign policy. He worked in a computer-related position in the United States Department of State in the mid-1960s, initially an anti-communist with dreams of becoming a foreign service officer. He became disillusioned by the Vietnam War. Plum left the State Department in 67 and became founder and editor of the Washington Free Press, the first alternate newspaper to the Capitol. 69, he wrote and published an expose of the CIA, and he continued to write books up till recent times concerning uh, the foreign policy and the direction that the US was taking. Now, the USA is a privileged country. They are indeed a privileged country, but few realize why. It's because it's the birthplace of a commandment-keeping people it is the place in which Protestantism was given free range. It is also a place in which there were Freemasonry fathers. And as I mentioned in the beginning, the three frogs, one representing Spiritism, Masonry, Freemasonry fathers, are heavily infiltrated and influenced by Romanism, another of those spirits, number two, and we have also the false prophet influenced by Protestantism, but not as Protestantism was, but as Protestant is, Protestantism is today. It has lost the protest and is coming back 
to be a daughter of Rome. And we see that in what happened with the Pope's visit in the USA just recently. In this environment, it will be a persecuting power as church and state join in the near future. And by these three powers, Spiritism, Apostate Protestantism and Romanism, they will usher in a false messiah. And no one can buy and sell except they receive the mark of the beast. If you want to know more concerning this, click on Pictures at 13. These are prophecies that have been foretold for over a hundred years that are right on our doorstep. We need to know what's happening. So cleverly, it would seem, that these influences on the United States in the background might not even be seen for what they are, which is stated in the prophecy concerning these three frogs.